Hey guys, welcome to game two of set one between Rancor and Masuchi. Bottom left hand corner we have Masuchi as the skin peach something. Skin color Zerg. You you think this would actually be like the more fitting Zerg color, but just I don't know, it's like purple, red, blue, or like the solid typical upper right hand corner. We have Rancor starting as the yellow Zerg game one. Masuchi going for a nine pool, guessing correctly, and able to get a quick win. I'm wondering if Rancor is going to adjust and go overpool this match, potentially opt to go for more of a defensive build. I feel like if you just want to play straight out safe Zerg versus Zerg 12 pool is the thing where you get a lot of adjustable options. My feelings on it. But Zerg versus Zerg has evolved quite a bit. It's become, I don't want to say it's like a solve thing, but it used to be just rock, paper, scissors. And it really has morphed quite a bit, arguably because of the influence of Queen. I actually want to go back and study everything that's happened in that space to make it more of a, less of a uh, just rock, paper, scissors matchup. That being said, Rancor is in fact opting for a nine pool himself. So turnabout is fair play. Let's see if he can sneak one out him. So again, it's going to come down to, this is a very risky build on this map, just because of the size of it. There's still, you end up with an advantage against 12 pool. Looks like we are seeing an over pool this time. This is going to give Masuchi the early advantage. So he's gonna have both the larva and a slightly stronger economy to work with and basically have more base drones overall. Extractor being planted as well. Zergling speed will come online a little bit later. So once again, Rancor are kind of getting the short end of the stick as far as just straight ZVZ openers. Zergling's being produced. And the other problem is, is yeah, Masuchi, well, it also depends whether Masuchi builds Zerglings or not, or has the sense to build Zerglings as far as a, a follow-up on an overpool. Sometimes there'll be drones uh, still snuck in between here, but usually, so initially you get the six Zerglings, but sometimes, anyway. We'll see how it works out. The other problem is, is with the overlords going to the far corners both directions, Hatchery being built as a follow-up, by the way, which plays well for Rancor's favor. Six Zerglings produced, but more are gonna come, and this, this they are gonna have speed in not too long to follow this up. So actually with the grab of that Hatchery, that's a lot of territory to defend again. There are six Zerglings to defend, Defender's advantage to Masuchi's side, though. Just such a huge distance to try to cover. Let's see if Rancor can get it done. One Zergling getting caught. Out of position, looking to trail. Rancor needs to engage immediately to make this work. And it's going to come down to Zergling versus Zergling Micro right here. Getting a couple free hits. Trying to reposition. More Zerglings coming off the ramp. Now Masuchi buying some time. Trying to chase the back. It's four versus six. Two of them getting caught. One of them getting picked off. They're going to wait for Zergling speed to kick in and for their brethren to swing back around but unfortunately this also means Masuchi knows all he has to do is pump units and he should be okay the Zerglings trying to get what they can re-engaging a drone coming off the line to engage as well as extra padded defense and it looks like Masuchi yeah pulls it off again Rancor not able to sneak in and get the micro that he was looking for so GG 3 333 another quick one I feel like I'm cheating here with the fighting spirit like aspect of this as far as my full set. It's mostly I knew this was going to be a good series, or I thought it would be a good series. But currently, Masuchi up 2-0. I'm going to say mostly on a build order aspect. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.